Good morning on this really, really lovely December mild morning. It's just been raining yesterday and I thought I'd get out today and uh, have a blast. The ground's nice and soft. Put my little accelerator double D detect search coil on. Uh, so I'm going to go in this double. I have brought the standard coil for the Explorer. Uh, I've got the sensitivity set up. 27 I think it is um, just to give it a bit more chance uh, take it nice and slow but on deep setting um, not a great fan of stubble but it's all I've got left really I've got about six acres of stubble to do and uh, all right give it a go see the first signal got the first signals out and it sounded really nice cracking little signal but it's uh, ah, a button. Wouldn't be surprised. Ooh, well, that looks just well. If that's what I think it is. That's a good first signal. Let's have a, have a butcher's and have a look. Have a look. Ooh, who's that? I see a I see a head on that. Ooh. I'll give that a bit of a clean and have a quick get back to that one, definitely. Well I'm pretty sure I've just cleaned it a little bit as much as I can, a bit bent. But that looks like to me I'm sure that says William the Third. I think that's a William the Third shilling. Blinding first signal, well happy. It wasn't that deep, it was about three inches, but with the stuff it don't help. Uh, it's better condition than the other one I found the other week, although it is bent. Oh, it's cracking. I think I shall uh, continue in this little area. On to the next one. Uh, second signal is a musket ball. Not too surprised, not too deep. But uh, I was having uh, doubts with that little tiny coil. I didn't. I just thought it would take me forever to get through a field. But yeah, I think it's uh, could be just what I need for stubble. So we see how we get on with it. All right, next one. Right, high hopes for this one. Let's see what we get out of this one. Let's see if I can do it quick. Hopefully, sounded lovely. And it's in that bit there. It's in white in that bit there. Oh, wicked. Well, that was worth doing live. Super cool. It's only half. But I don't know if you can make it out of there. Half a crow bell. A big one as well. Oh, a winner. I'm oh, happy, that's definitely worth it. Right. Let's see if I can find the other arm. If we can do a good live one twice. What a nice, uh, a nice sound. Uh, oh, I heard it. I'm not sure what that is. So I think that's just a bit of lead. Yep, just a bit of lead. Live dig again. Have another go. Although I think I can see what it is already. Bloody bottle top. Oh well. Can't win them all. Right, second find. I think that's the coin I can see there. Yep. It looks a bit uh looks a bit crusty. A bit sticky at the moment, so uh, it's gonna be hard to tell. Guessing Maybe a half penny of some sort. An older one, it's a bit small. Uh, I'll have a quick look, but yeah, this little uh, accelerator double D by D Tech is uh, it's doing really well in this. Um, it's probably about six inch double. It's doing really well. Really happy. And I've tried this with other coils, and it's a uh, hate doing stubble, and it's right pain in the ass, but. 
uh, this little thing. Still hard work to get it through, but it's picking out a lot more than the other coils. I'm going to go back over this in a minute with the standard coil and uh, see if I've missed anything or if it's any better. But, no, nah, well pleased. So, sensitivity is on uh, 28. Uh, I've got threshold up to about 8. And, uh, yeah, it's doing quite good. Alright, next one. That goes to show the kind of targets that this thing's getting in the stubble. That is a tiny little button. It wasn't too deep, but at least I know I'm getting them. Yeah, cool. So, well happy with that. I'd uh, definitely recommend this uh, coil if anyone is thinking about getting like, a small a small coil to do woodland uh, orchards, you know, that sort of thing and stubble. Yeah, well worth it. Wicked. Right, the little DB strikes again. This is, I can see, uh, stuck in the mud there. This is just target after target this morning. I mean, I haven't done this bit of a uh, bit of land yet, so. Ah, oh, ah, oh, that's, ah, oh, I thought that was a coin. It's a button though, it's got, oh, it's got writing all around the inside. Can't quite make it out at the moment, but it's in good nick. Uh, made in England, by the looks of it, it's got a little, uh, oh, it's got a little crest around the bottom. Yep, definitely says made in England. And it's got, uh, probably the maker's crest around it. Like a pair of cross swords. Yeah, cool. Right. And it goes to show what you can miss. I've done this bit before. I mean, passed over it with the uh, large uh, coil. But there, that's just come up. Uh, it looked in okay condition, but uh, I'll give it a quick clean in a minute and I'm going to go through with what I've just been digging up. Not, not videoed it all because a lot of it's just a uh, button after button. I think I can make out uh, Britannia on the back there. That's Britannia sitting there. Yep. See if I can get date underneath her before I flip it over. 1916. So that'd be a Victoria half penny, which looks to be in really good condition underneath all the muck. Awesome. It makes uh, putting up with all these tiny, tiny little spiders absolutely covered in spiders one mild, one, one mild day and uh, oh, it's infested with spiders are everywhere. But, cool, as long as I keep finding stuff like this, I can spend hours out here. Now I know I've done this bit before. This was packed in there right down deep. Uh, I've got a feeling it's going to be too far gone. Possibly an old penny. Uh, can't quite tell myself, but I'll give that a clean off shortly. I still haven't finished a little bit I was doing. This is good. A lot of little coins here. Lots of little buttons. So, yeah, awesome. Next one. Uh, that was interesting. I just dug this up. I cleaned it up a bit before I put the camera on. Uh, a lead seal of some sort. Uh, it's got 93 on one side and then a crest or a shield in the middle of that one and some writing around it. But it's definitely a lead seal. I don't know what from or how old. But first one I've ever found. Hmm. Cool. Right, another coin. Uh, it's quite a thick one actually. Thick and a small one. I can't see what it is right now. Yeah, it looks a bit crusty, but could be something going on there. Give that a clean. Still, still pulling them out of the floor, which is good. Apart from the spiders, I'm having fun. So, right, sun's going down now, so I won't be long. Well, the light's fading now, so I'm going to go home. Yeah, it's been a good day. Got one. That was a George Halfpenny. The uh, 1916 one. 
that one is a George the third. Just make out his head on one side, but uh, that one don't know. That one I don't know. That's the William the third shilling. Lovely. Hundreds of buttons, loads and loads of buttons. Uh, cartridge case. Bit, that looks like an old uh, taint, uh, wooden uh, ruler, folding ruler, hinge, uh, some sort of lid of something. Bit of a watch. Uh, big old bit of shrapnel. We cut a little bit there. Yeah, one of the old fuse rings. Didn't fancy that it mean yet. Crotal bell. Uh, lots of musket balls, lots of little bits of shot as well, little round bits of shot. <coughs> that unassuming piece of lead has what looks like some sort of starburst sun pattern on it. I found one like it, and it but it was complete, and it, I think it's being validated at the moment, and I think it could have been a horse mount bung, I keep that. <coughs> That's all junk over there. That's all lead. Uh, I'll clean the lead up, there might be something in that, I don't know what that is. And the lead seal. But yeah, not a bad day with the uh, little coil on. Uh, right, I'm going to go home.